All right, guys, we're gonna create a game as fast as we can using Bolt visual scripting. So first thing I'm gonna do is start with a sphere. All right, there we go, there's a sphere. I'm gonna create a cube. All right, we'll move the sphere up a little bit. All right, we'll make this cube wide and long. Let's say like that, that's good. All right, we'll make a copy of it. Up here, good. We got our two walls. Let's make one more copy. Let's take these two, let's put them inside our walls. All right, I'm just trying to show you how fast you can do it in, in Bolt. All right, then you got a U wind trigger. Move that about 90 degrees. I will right, we'll move that over here. Bring it down. All right, we got the is trigger. All right, cool. On the sphere, we'll add rigid body. Good. We'll add nothing else. That's good. Let's make a cannon. Rotate it like this. Let's animate it a little bit. And move. All right. We'll do this. Just have it rotate over like three seconds down and three seconds back. And right, we'll go down. Like there. And then we'll copy this. And about six seconds, we'll go back. We got a cannon going. All right, let's create a fire point on the front of that. We'll make a little picture for it here. Move it up. Rotate it so it's pointing the same direction as the cannon. That looks good. Maybe a little bit weird. That's fine. I don't want it to look weird. This is it's an important part. Do zero, zero, zero. Okay. Let's see. Where's it at? All right. So we just want to rotate it on the X. All right. Ooh, it's hard to get it right. All right. Fine. All right. So we got a good. Let's play that animation while we go for the next part. All right. So now we're gonna take this called ball. Let me get a prefab here. Let's make some materials first. All right, create colors in red. Pop it on the wall here. Pop it on this wall too. And we'll just turn it red. Good. All right. Now we'll make this one green. Call this one green. Oh. Green. All right. Make it green. Cool. All right, and that's good. Now, the ball we need a physical material for it to make it bouncy. Let's do that. Bouncy. Good enough. Pop it on there. Get maximum 0.9. Zero, zero. That's good. All right, so now we got this ball. Let's put it in here. All right, and. Let's start with the cannon. Let's have it fire. Let's delete this ball. We'll have the cannon. Get a flow machine. All right, and embed. Shoot cannon. Edit graph. All right. Um, here to start, we don't need it. Update. We'll do add unit. Mouse button down. Okay. Pop that there. Want a branch? If it's true. We will instantiate. There we go. Oh, that's what I hate. It'll slow down. Instantiate. Okay. Original. I take the ball. Put that in the game object. Fire point. Here we'll put. Transformed up position. Okay. Put that there. And here we'll do quaternion.identity. Alright, then <coughs> I'm gonna do a game dot destroy, a game object dot destroy. Alright. So we can destroy it after five seconds. Let's do five seconds. 
All right, and the object will be the same object that we created. All right, and then we'll do another one, which will be rigid.velocity. You can set the velocity of this same to firepoint trans dot forward. We want the forward of this. We want to multiply it by the literal will say 100. All right, that's good enough. Now we do this. That's good. So we have that going. Just to try it out, let's move the camera. All right, camera go this way. Rotate uh, 270. All right, let's lift you up. Let's get a good view here. All right, it's looking good. Let's see. Hurry, 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 test so we can get it going. There we go. All right, the ball's shooting. And now we want to see if we win or we lose. So let's do UI, Text Mesh Pro. We'll say you win text. Good enough. All right. Let's do there. It's big. Right in the center, we want it. Enter it. Let me see a thing. You win text. All right, cool. Let's make it oh. big here. Big. Let's call it you win. Make it 200. Not 36, 200. That's good. Put it in the center here. We will anchor that. That's good. You win, we'll make it black. So we can see it. Alright, nope. How about red? How about green, you win. Let's just keep it white. It's not looking good. Any color. We won't be able to see it. Whatever, this is fine. Alright, you win. You know, orange. Let's do uh, you lose. Next. Whatever. This one, you lose, make it red, that's good. All right, and then we'll make a button. So try again, we could say, try again, again, okay, again. Bring it down, button, make it bigger. All right, we will hide all of this. All right, so now if you hit this, let's go back here. If you hit this, you lose, so let's create. Okay, oh, let's do a flow machine. Oh, flow machine. Embed. You lose. All right, let's do Collision, enter. Alright, on collision, enter. Let's do time scale. Let's set the time scale equal to zero. Oh. Time scale. Alright, zero. Then we'll do the uh, we'll set. Set active. Set some game objects active here. Two. We want it's connected to that. Game objects we want active are. You lose text. Oh, come on. All right, there, and the value. Just zoom in and you can see the check mark. And then for that, we want the try again button. Set active. I want that there. Okay, so that's how you, what happens if you lose. I'm just gonna copy this, put it on here, in the flow machine, whatever, embed, delete, start over. Okay, there we go. And then you win and do a similar thing here. So, one machine, embed, delete, change this, right click, replace, trigger, enter. Okay, then we're gonna change this to you win text. All right, uh, come on. 
right, and the value is going to be true, alright. And then one more thing, we're going to go here, add component, we're going to do flow machine on the button, we're going to do embed, we're going to edit the graph here, we're going to do uh, on button click, alright, and we'll do time scale, or let's do load scene, we'll go by build index, zero, and then we'll set the time scale to one again, just in case it doesn't. We'll set it to one. All right, one more thing we have to do is build settings, put our scene in there. Should, oh, it's already in there, okay. All right, and then that is the game, I believe. Let's see what happens. So we got our game here. And you lose, it's going too fast. So you lose if you hit that, you lose if you hit that. You win. You lose because it's got a weird angle and it's going up. You win. All right, thanks guys for watching. Um, so if you uh, if you ever want any if you have any requests for videos, just let me know in the Discord. You can join. This actually came as a request from someone. They want to learn bolt. I was actually going to do a different video. Um, you can catch my stream, um, my game development stream on Sundays. I'm thinking about starting a podcast. Don't don't hold me to that. Uh, and then also I do stream chess now as well on Twitch. So go over there and follow me if you want. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave any comments below, any experiences with Bolt, anything I could do better, let me know. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.